Today we are going to make and decorate an original chiffon cake. These are the ingredients. First, mix the oil and flour. As you can see, this method of first combining the oil and flour is simple and won't develop gluten. You can stir it any way you want and you don't have to sift the flour neither. Now add the egg yolks and milk. Stir until all well combined. Now let's whip the egg whites. Add cream of tartar to the egg whites and beat on high speed. Cream of tartar can stabilize the meringue. If you don't have it, you can add a small teaspoon of lemon juice instead. You can also use a stand mixer for this, as I've demonstrated in my previous coffee chiffon cake video. I used a hand mixer for this one, so you can see that both methods will work just fine. When you see big bubbles forming, add a third of the sugar. When the foam becomes finer and silkier, you can add another third of the sugar. Continue to beat on high speed. The foam will continue to get silkier and you will start to see some texture lines or trails. At this point, you can add the remaining sugar and beat on medium high speed. Continue beating until you see some stiff peaks. After lifting the whisk, the meringue is stable and firm, and the peak will not drip. Scoop about one third of the egg whites to the batter and fold it in gently. This is to lighten the batter initially and prepare it for the rest of the egg whites. Once it's mixed well, change to a spatula and pour it into the egg whites. Continue to fold gently until it's all combined. Repeat this movement until the batter is homogenous. Don't overdo it. Transfer the batter to the pan immediately. Shake it, tap it a couple of times, and draw a few circles with a toothpick to flatten the surface.
Place it in a preheated oven and bake it at 300 degrees for 50 minutes. Personally, I prefer to bake it at 300 degrees for 40 minutes, then increase the temperature to 320 degrees for 5 minutes. This is after a few testing with my oven, as oven temperature varies. If I just bake it at 300 degree for 50 minutes, even though it's perfectly baked, the top of the cake will be a little bit sticky after it's cool. So if you have the same problem, you can do the same switch. Once it's out of the oven, tap it on the table once, then cool it upside down. It will take 2 to 3 hours to cool completely. While waiting for the cake to cool, let's prepare the decoration pieces. I'm using white wafer candy melts to make the garnish because it's easy to handle. You can also use the regular white chocolate or chocolate chip. Melt it in the microwave for about a minute. Once it's melted, spoon it on a piece of parchment paper. Then run the spoon on the end like so. Put them in the fridge to cool. They will get hardened very quickly. Now that the cake is cool, remove it from the pan slowly, then slice it into three layers. Flatten the top as well. We are going to start decorating it. Add a little bit of cream at the bottom to secure the cake to the cake board. Since I'm going to put strawberries in the cake, I'm also going to apply a thin layer of strawberry preserves in it. Then apply a layer of whipped cream frosting. I'll provide the link on how to make this in description below. Now add the diced strawberries. Cover the strawberries with another thin layer of whipped cream. Repeat these steps. layer is usually the bottom of the cake. This is because it's usually the flattest part and will be easier to frost. When decorating a chiffon cake, I usually only use whipped cream frosting, never a buttercream. This is because chiffon cake is very light and airy. You want to match it with something light and airy as well. Buttercream is just too heavy. Smooth out the cream the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. I have
have some strawberries here that I dipped in into the white candy melt earlier. This is to prevent any strawberry juice from bleeding onto the cake. Next, we will add the garnish that we made earlier to the side of the cake. For the finishing touch, I'm going to dust some powdered sugar on it. And this is now completed. 